Hello, Bees Bladers! Welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. I have two new Civivi knives to share with you guys and gals today. I already have them out of the box. I've already checked them out. I know the pros. I know the cons. I'm going to give it to y'all. Make sure you smile. That'll make you feel a little bit better. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Because if you like knives or EDC content, this is definitely the place to be. The links to every knife that you see in this video, and there will be several, will be in the comments section and in the description of this video. First up, we have the Civivi Baltair. Would you look at it? Just look at it and all of its Civiviness and its Baltairness. Yeah, there's some good texture on that G10. It's just right. It's nice and texturized. And you can see right here, we have a reversible deep carry clip. It is slender and it is inset into the G10. So there's nothing there to grab a hold of your pocket or get snagged on, which is a very nice thing. It does have a captive pivot and we do have some jimping up here. And you know how I feel about Civivi's jimping. They always do a fantastic job. Now, I'll tell you a little bit more about this jipping here in just a second. We have T8 hardware, which is amazing. And then if you look back here, there's no backspacer. And you ready to see this blade? Pow! Right in the kisser. Oh, yeah. Look at that bad boy. Did I say bad boy? <laughs> <laughs> Sound like a buoy in the water? Look at that bad boy. Look at this blade. Oh, yeah. I guess you would kind of call that a uh, spear point, tantoey. You can call it whatever you want. It really doesn't matter what you label the blade is. That right there is just some sweet action all the way around. I love the angles, love how it comes to a very distinct point. And you could get this knife in three different versions. You could get the G10 handle in black or tan. You could get the green burlap micarta, or you could get the Gaborsha wood with the Damascus. You can fancy it up a little bit and check it out. This forward twill right here is ample and it makes plenty of room for sharpening. And it has some nice thumb studs up here by that really pretty looking jimping. And would you believe, in case you didn't know how large this knife is, from tip to tip, it's 9.02 inches long. It has 4.3 inches of usable handle, a 3.97 inch blade. The blade's thickness is 118 thousandths of an inch. It's only 14 thousandths of an inch behind the edge and 17 thousandths up here. It has a little bit of heft to it. It weighs in at 5.9 ounces. And I can tell you from experience that left and right it's centered, up and down it's centered. It has a very good lockup and yes, the blade is centered. So everything that you would, that we have come to expect from Civivi is the case with the Baltair. And did I mention that this is 14C 28 in? Yeah, that's some 14C baby. And this is not an expensive knife. It is almost in the budget category. But first, before we get into that, we got to do a couple size comparisons. There's the USP Penguin. Now you see what we're stepping in. And here is the Civivi Elementum. Yeah, this is not your average, ordinary, tiny little or medium sized pocket knife. This one is a working knife. It means business. It is built solid. Here's the Spyderco Tenacious. Yellow. Yeah, it makes the Tenacious look small. And here's the Spyderco Paramilitary 2. Look at that. It's like the paramilitary too bought big pops to the dinner. So how about the off-grid knives Stinger XL? I had to find something to get up there in this size range so you would know. And you know what? One I haven't held out in a little while, the Kaiser Roach. Yeah, if you think the Kaiser Roach is a big knife, look at this chonker. So we know that the fit and the finish are good on this bad boy. How about the action and the ergos? For your deployment, you have multiple methods. Right here, you have some really good jimping on this flipper and of course you have the thumb studs. So the thumb studs work fantastic. It has a good detent. I can flip it out if I give it a little bit of a throw a tie on the back flip. And the jimping along with the detent, they work well together to get this giant blade to come flying out with a throw a tie as we sigh. When I have this knife in my hand, it tells me no frills, no thrills. This is a serious knife meant for a purpose. Now for your ergonomics, it is very comfortable. I have large width hands and look at that. If you have XL hands, you have plenty of room for grip. Even if you have some thick gloves on in the winter, you're not gonna have a problem with that. Now, the one little nitpick I do have about this knife would be the pass through or your ability to disengage this knife. You do have some softer jimping. Well, I wouldn't call it soft. I would call it medium grip jimping. The problem for me is, is that you can't just 
push your finger, your thumb across here and grab it to disengage it. You have to commit. So that could be good or could be bad. It depends on your preference. This one, you have to commit your thumb, put some pressure and then push over the liner lock to disengage it. I can certainly appreciate the fact that it's not easy, but also depending on who you are and what you prefer, you are going to be putting a little bit of pressure on your thumb to disengage that knife. Now, with that being said, if you're not using this knife as a fidget machine, then that's never going to be an issue for you. It's easy to disengage right-handed or left-handed. This giant blade is drop shutty. And I think you would expect that from a blade this size. So it's very smooth. Those ceramic bearings are doing their job. It's a great knife. The handles are well chamfered all the way around and I have zero hot spots. I mean, I really feel like I could do some damage with this thing on whatever I'm cutting or if I need to do some piercing or if I want to do some reverse gripping or some piercing with the reverse grip. This knife would be great for opening bags of mulch. So here's the kicker. This bad boy only costs 63 three doll hairs. I think for what you get for that much, 14 C 28 in steel, and you get everything else that I mentioned, all of the pros, barely anything that I can even find to nitpick at all. $63 is a fantastic deal for a large knife. I know a big portion of people in the comments all the time are like, I want a bigger blade. I want a bigger blade. Give me a bigger knife. Well, here you go. It's just shy of the four inch mark. Now, next up is not the Civivi Elementum. It's also not the Civivi Elementum. And it's also not the Civivi Elementum. It is the Civivi Elementum. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is the one with the sheet foot blade. This is their newest version of the Civivi Elementum. And I gotta say, I like it. There are different configurations of this bad boy already. And if you're not familiar with the Elementum, it is one of the, if not the flagship of Civivi. One of the most popular knives. Almost everybody has heard about the Elementum. Well, they really did it a service by adding this blade. I love a modified sheep's foot blade blade. This is kind of in the Warncliffe category. That's all going to be up to opinion and conjecture. The blade is what it is. You could just look at it and look at this. It's a hollow ground blade, baby. This knife is 6.9 inches long. It is a perfect everyday carry size knife. You have 2.7 inches of sharpened length. You have a little bit of room up here where you can choke up to do all of your daily tasks, your daily cutting. The usable handle on this is 3.25 inches. So I have just enough room to get my hand on there. You can see that it fits, it works. It's not a big knife. This is one that is very lightweight. You could carry this in your gym shorts and not even realize you have it in your pocket. The pass through works just right on it. It has just the right amount of jimping on the liner lock. And by the way, it has good jimping up top here on the spine. It's easy to deploy. The thumb studs work fantastic. The flipper, this is a very very fidgety knife besides the fact that it is a functional knife. You can get just enough piercing to get into packages or do a little utility cutting or if you're making a hot dog stick, just all of the normal things, this would be a knife I would recommend as a gift or to gift yourself. Or if you're trying to introduce someone into modern knives, this would be a perfect opportunity to do that. This hollow ground blade is Nitro V Steel, baby. That's what I'm talking about. The ergos are really good. When I hold it back here, I'm not going to be cutting so heavy duty that this pocket clip even bothers me. Even though I can feel it, it is not a hot spot. I like the way it's rounded and I do like how the liners set just a little high of the G10. I like the feel of that. I've always appreciated that and Civivi makes such a good knife and always has such a good grind. I can feel that this Nitro V has a great edge to it. And of course, if you didn't know, it does have a captive pivot and it has ceramic ball bearings. So it's always going to be smooth. This is just a perfect example of an everyday carry or an EDC knife that you would have in your pocket or your pouch or your backpack or your car or your glove compartment just to have a knife handy for whatever you want to do. And they do have fancier versions of this available. I'll have links down there where you can go check them out for yourself. So there's the new Civivi Elementum with the sheep's foot blade. And then we have the new Civivi Ball Tear. Oh, wow. Now, how is that for a pair right there? Tell me what you think about them. Do you like them? Do you have a preference? Even if you don't, say hello in the comments. Say hi to everyone. And if you enjoy my com content, if you enjoy my comments, if you enjoy my content, do me a favor, hit that like, that thumbs up button. That helps the channel. So 
supports it. And if you don't want to miss the giveaways and the live stream that we do every Friday night, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification button. That way it'll tell you a half an hour before the live stream starts and you won't miss out on all of the fun that we have on Friday nights. Just drop in and check it out. You'll see that we have a lot of fun. You'll find yourself coming back on Fridays. So go watch this video. You're really going to enjoy yourself. And until I see you in the chats or the lives or the comments or the hive stream on Friday, remember, live life in the present, keep a band-aid handy, and don't cut yourself.